We leverage data to address problems of public health. So this often relates to all of the factors inside the hospital, but also outside, all the social, cultural, environmental, and other factors that drive our health and our quality of life. We do this in a couple ways. One is getting better measures of these aspects. For example, measures of discrimination, which gets under the skin. So finding ways to quantify and measure those so we can examine how they impact our health and how that happens for different populations. You can imagine using satellite imagery to understand the environment how green is a place, what are the green spaces like, what are the parks like, and that of course helps us in our analyses of health and health outcomes. And we also look at using new analytical methods like machine learning, deep learning, to better look at forecasting and predicting health outcomes. So we leveraged a few forms of data, one of them being social media for understanding the cultural milieu. So basically what is the sentiment, like discriminatory sentiment, racial sentiment, sexual orientation based sentiment in different places, different neighborhoods. And we're able to bring together all of these forms of data to understand really the lived experience of these people and their exposure to discrimination. Some people don't realize that social determinants of health actually can contribute and affect our health much more than how much we're spending on health care or interventions in the hospital. I chose this problem to work on because of course the important impact that it's having worldwide, it could really move the needle for a lot of people, a lot of groups, so the latest progress on this work has been in a few different directions. One, the research has been pretty inspiring and very new for a lot of people working in the area. And we've also been inspired to look at other types of exposures through social media and other forms of data. We're also thinking about expanding this work to larger populations to be able to unpack the results strongly. Looking forward, some other types of work you can keep your eye on from our group is also to look at how these different exposures in the social, cultural and environmental domains affect our health and also affect our community's health. So all of us together as a family, as a neighborhood, as a community, this is a nice dimension to look at these factors on as well.